MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. So Bill, quite a novel method of clamping here from Romheld. Can you talk me through what, it, what it's actually doing and how versatile it is? This is our new range of swing clamps electrically operated as opposed to hydraulic or pneumatic. It's electrical, is it? Okay. Yeah, so it's part of our E-Tech green, green range, cost saving, power saving, and the clamping forces are completely versatile from zero to whatever the end user wants to put on as a clamping force. Cost saving, you talk about what, 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 from an environmental perspective. How from a power consumption, because you're not looking at a hydraulic power pack, you're looking at simple electrics. So the power consumption is probably 80% less than a hydraulic or a pneumatic element. How, 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 does, it, how does it work with the, call it a machine tool, that um, this would be a part of, because you've been machining a part. How do you tie the two together? Tie the two together with um, M codes, safety codes and things like that, but from an electrical point of view, it's far easier in many respects to actually tie in that and safeguard it for the end user than it is with the hydraulics. What, why is that? Because I know you'd have a hydraulic pack if it was hydraulic, but what, what is the difference there? Uh, a lot of machine tool uh, manufacturers don't have an integrated hydraulic uh, lead for us to pipe into. Whereas with this, the electrics are already there on the machine, you just plug into it. And great, what about what it's actually doing here? I can see, I mean, yeah, we're clamping a part, but is there any versatility with it if the part was a different shape, size? The idea behind this particular product is that when composites are coming on stream as they are doing now, it's holding them to a degree that you're not actually damaging the composite inside structurally. And how are you achieving that? We can achieve that by just altering the clamping force uh, until we reach a point where it can go off to the composite centre in Bristol to be analysed to say you're damaging the internal structure, we'll say at 50 bar, where you're not at 40. And how do you alter that clamping force on the machine parameters, M codes? That's within the software package on the electrical clamps. Okay, so you get a software package with the fixture yeah. in, call it. Yeah. Would, would you therefore then make a fixture plate with the relevant clamps for a customer's requirement? We wouldn't. We don't actually make fixtures. We just uh, supply elements for fixturing. So we work with many fixture builders in the UK. Got it. So what we're actually looking at here is the clamping mechanism, the electrical uh, or, or the software that goes with it to yeah. enable a user to create their own fixture and then use your clamping solution around it. Yes. Okay, and is this new? This is probably two years old. Um, the owner of Romhel Group challenged all the manufacturing sites to come up with electrical products. So we now have electric swing clamps, electric work supports, electric vices, and electric zero points before the market to sell them in. Okay, and I, and I don't want to cut specific markets out here because you did mention composite, but that doesn't mean it's just for composites, does it? No, 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 not at all. It's, it's for all materials, but it's, it's in an area now that we're moving into quite, quite a lot. Brilliant. Thank you, Bill. Okay, thanks very much. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.